Dancing in the street, he's sharing the music. It's a very welcoming language that anyone can join in. For most live acts, though, you can only join in if you have a ticket. And the sounds of U2's Vancouver practices, the closest many will get to the concert. It sold out fast, frustrating fans who pin much of the blame on ticket bots, scalper software programs that snap up seats in seconds. What do you think of ticket bots? Uh, you can get? dislike them. It's annoying. If a set price is at a certain price, then that's what it should stay at. Canadians are increasingly aware of the practice and increasingly angry. The latest Angus Reid Institute survey finds 76% say it's a huge problem that must be fixed. Gone are the days of lining up around the block for a concert where first come first serve means camping outside and there's a, a sense of fairness around it. What's going on? There was outrage when tickets to Terminal Eel, Gord Downey's tragically hit farewell tour vanished almost instantly, relisted immediately at inflated prices. 81% of those surveyed say it's time to make ticket bots illegal and punish the users with fines and jail time. Um, I think it's fair. <laughs> Equivalent to uh, delinquent charges for stealing other people's property. The bots really have nothing to do with it. It's the promoters that are holding back seats. Some in the know say even the bots don't have access to most of the tickets. There's a bigger problem, promoter holdback. Sometimes as much as 70% of the available tickets are not available to the general public on the on sale. And Canadians, according to the survey, are split on what the answer is. Let industry sort it out or let politicians keep dancing around legislation. Jeff Hastings, Global News.